Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to do another walkthrough of one of these houses. And I really need an intro. I'll have to uh, brainstorm some ideas for that in the coming days. Because <clears throat> I've just sat down and done like five walkthroughs in a row and uh, it gets kind of trying saying, hey guys, what's going on? And blah 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 at the beginning and end of each video. So maybe that's something I had to do this weekend. Anyway, without further ado, let's head on in. And the first thing you see is, whoa, bright pink carpet. Well, maybe not bright pink, but pink carpet nonetheless. Just because it was different, I guess. Why not? The only real reason it's there, and the only real reason these are here is because uh, if they're not, water will drip down through the wool, and that'll just look kind of odd. Trust me, I have seen houses that have water damage, and it is not pretty. Much, uh, much less pretty are the prices they want for some of these houses. Straight up absurd for a house with mold in literally every one of its rooms to be 136000 but... I'm not the guy who determines market value, I guess. Anyway, anyway, back to the house. We have this small kitchen here with the tile checkerboard sort of pattern and we also have this stairway up to the second floor and it's important to note that unlike most of my other houses this is actually a two floor house and not a split level so we have uh, more or less a full staircase and a landing on top of this staircase which could be used as uh, like an office, a seating area Pretty much anything, or you can just leave it empty and throw down a rug, call it a day. This has three bedrooms, I believe. One, two, and three at the very end here. Let's see, let's go back, close the door. If I can do that. Oop, nope, okay, there we go, awesome. And it also has a fully outfitted bathroom. Kind of exciting. Which is where the water I was talking about before comes from. So we've got a shower, a tub, a toilet, sink. It's not very fancy, but it's improvement from having no bathroom like a lot of my a lot of my other houses are built with. So we also have this little window overlooking the landing. Or looking into, overlooking. I don't know which. So going back down to the first floor and going out through the garage, we have a small patio under this roof extension and a little seating area there, some landscaping and what could be another patio space, but it's currently just a slab of stone. Let me just do that. There we go. And the back of the house, the smaller window is where the bathroom is that you saw earlier, and just some nice chairs, a little spot to relax, have some coffee in the morning, something like that. And let's see, what else is there to see on this house? Not very much. Just a bit of the neighborhood, I guess. Pretty okay. You kind of see Rosebrook up there. Want to check that out, do check out those videos, because that's uh, basically well, the buildings themselves are complete now, but... Anyway, back to this house before I get all uh, off onto a tangent about irrelevant stuff. So I guess the thing to take away is that it's three beds, one bath, may or may not have a basement added on at some point in the future. And it is a 2-4 house, a lot like the traditional suburban house that a lot of you guys have probably seen. Thank you for the views on that. It's, uh, Probably the first video uploaded within the last six months or so to top 200 views, so congrats and thanks for that. I really appreciate it. I do. I'd also appreciate it if uh, you guys would like the video, comment, subscribe, favorite. And I'd also appreciate it if you dislike the video, if you'd leave some feedback as to why you dislike the video. Because a lot of people, they'll just hit the dislike button and be done with it. They won't say, well, I specifically dislike this, 
you could have done this better, this kind of sucked, etc. Or they'll just say, oh, this video sucks, you know, you blah blah blah. And not really give a reason, other than an insult. So, leave some feedback either way, and thank you for watching. See you next time.